channel, I'm Maya. And I'm Sarah. And we are Charmed and Dangerous. Because you know we're charming. And we are very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Okay. Pop, pop. Pew, pew. <laughs> and on this episode, we are coming at y'all with another astrology fun video, okay? Mm -hmm. And we're talking about the least loyal air sign. <laughs> Trigger now. warning. Trigger warning. I know. Don't get all butt hurt. You're already upset. You're already mad. I just don't understand how you can be an air sign and all you talk about is how much, you know, nothing is that deep. Nothing matters that much. Like, just relax. But I swear to God, when we post our air sign content on this channel, some of y'all be going crazy in the up comments. In arms. You are up in arms. Oh so my God. Offended. So you, like, so so you, you do, do care. Mad. So you do care. So you care. Mm -hmm. I know you care. I know you care. Funny, then maybe you should be more loyal to your friends. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. I also want to say, as we get into this video, it's for all good and fun. Yes. As we said earlier, don't get offended. You have an entire birth chart. And we're not out here saying, like, don't trust these signs or they aren't completely loyal. Like, like we said, everybody has their full birth chart and they can be loyal. You know? You just the potential to, is there. The potential the potential is there. Okay. Potential. Keyword. <laughs> Love you guys. <laughs> It's true. You could be yeah. an Aquarius with Capricorn in your chart. You could be a Gemini with Taurus in your chart. Mm -hmm. You could be a Libra with Scorpio in your chart. Yes. The possibilities are there. Everything it's a matter of real. what your chart is. So, mm -hmm. you know, just like we always say, you have a full chart, so don't get all booty tickled. Yes, don't. Yes, and so, before we get into the meat of the video, we would love it if you hit that subscribe button down below. We're two best friends. We talk about astrology, fuckboys, dating, basically anything that we normally talk about. We just do it here for y'all. So mm -hmm. get with the program, join the squad, and hit that subscribe button down below. Okay, now on to the video. Okay, Cerbers. Mm. <laughs> mm. Tell the people how you feel about it. Okay, let's start with, you know, what I really want to say at the beginning of this video is I feel like it was really hard for me to choose which air sign is the least loyal because of the fact that all of you guys want your cake and you want it, eat it too, mm -hmm. but in very different ways. Because I feel like at the end of the day, if you were to ask all three of these air signs, Aquarius, Libra, mm -hmm. Gemini, Please name your top three qualities. Neither one of you would be saying loyal in that top three. No. <laughs> like, honestly, if any of you are, have the audacity to lie and say that you would, you're so not in tune with yourself. Read the room. Nobody here thinks you're loyal. Out of all the fucking signs, nobody does. You have so many other really great qualities. No, exactly. Oh, I love Extra you. Loyal is not for charming. Yeah. Like, I could go on and on. Yeah. Loyal's not there. So that's why, like, I really social do want to make it a point to say that. Butterflies. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I mean? And, like, usually when you're super social like that, you know, you don't always have, like, Exactly. Cool. Exactly. Because you're just—it's so easy just for you like to bounce around. around. You're like, hey, everybody. Yeah. You want a little you piece know? of me? You want a piece of me? And we are these people. <laughs> okay. So yeah. Like, really. So we don't want to say like, Maya has a Libra Moon. Mm -hmm. She has a Aquarius a rising. rising. I'm a Gemini Moon. Ooh, I have Libra placements. Mercury. You know. So it's it's there. Mm -hmm. But uh, let's just start it out. I feel like I just want to go ahead and say I feel like Gemini is that kid at the party that wants to play with everyone. They want a little piece of everyone. I feel like their eyes, your eyes, Gemini, don't last two seconds on one person because you're already so excited to see what else is out there. Like, facts. You guys are so easily stimulated that you're like, oh my God, look at that person. Oh, oh my God, look at that person. Like, like I can't even look at you now because there's this person. You're like, like looking over here and they're doing something interesting and like from the corner of your eye, you see something You're like, oh you're my like, God, they're really going hard you know? over there. Like, yeah. I need to become I friends I need to join that party. That person yeah. and I feel like also like for Gemini um, when things get serious it's about that time to bounce you know you guys are like I'm out of here like this mm -hmm. is where the disloyalty really does stem from mm -hmm. um, they really hate having to commit to a friendship or a relationship because that means stability like having to commit to someone is stability and like Loyalty is stability. Like, let's be honest. And to you guys, stability is boring. There's yeah. nothing exciting about that. So that's why you're on this list in this video. You guys hate that shit. Don't yeah. lie to me and tell yeah. me that you enjoy being loyal to people because you know you don't. Right. I also really want to say, like, a Gemini's definition of loyalty 
is different than the average person's <laughs> definition no. of loyalty. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like that's really important to say. It, no, it definitely <laughs> is. It definitely is because I feel like to Gemini, loyalty is, well, I came to that party, right? I showed up. That was like, like me loyal. Okay. You're loyal. Like, loyalty really means that. Oh my god, you had the opportunity to go do all these things, but right. I, as your friend, said, hey, I'm going through this shit right now, and I know you have, you know, your, your oh, calendar is booked yes. with all the best parties or whatever you're doing, Gemini. And I guarantee you, it's hard for you to choose to go be with your friend when they're chilling at their house alone because they're going through heartbreak right. when you know you have all this shit to do. Right. It is difficult for you. It's pulling you other ways, but... That's why people think that you're fucking disloyal because you can't sit down in one place for too long. You, you know what I mean? Like, if I invite you to my party, I'm not expecting you to be the first person to show up <laughs> or the last person to be there. I expect you to be there for a short amount of time. And if something better comes along, you're probably leaving. Yeah. And you know, like, that's how you go. No <laughs> offense to you. But then you can't be mad if people are calling you disloyal. It's just you know funny, what I mean? it's like, it's just so Gemini to be so offended by the so fact that by people it. are telling you like you're this way because we don't need to play devil's advocate about who you are i see who you i see you they love <laughs> yeah and, they, and like, i see you for what you truly <laughs> are <laughs> which is just loyal it's okay. just loyal you can't be like you just can't be like you are in so many social groups being different things for different people there's no way that you're like there for everyone at at all the, at all or the you times, know, or, you know what I mean? Or I could or, never think of Gemini and think, oh, Gemini is loyal to this person. Because from the outside perspective, I feel like as you're looking at Gemini, it seems like they're great friends with every everyone. person that they're friends with. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I, I wouldn't be able to tell who's the one that they're the bestest friends with. 100%. I feel like I look back at all my Gemini best friends and all of my Geminis, I mean, all of my best friends have Gemini placements. Yeah. So I'm looking back at them and I'm like, oh my God, we're best friends in the entire world. And then I see them out there in their element and they're doing that for everybody. And I'm like, oh my God. Everything was a lie. God. You're such a liar. So it's not just for me. Yeah. No, you make everyone <laughs> you really special. Are, you are the people's people. You're really out here doing, doing it all. You know, Demos. for everybody. So for me, Aquarius is. I feel like they care the least about being loyal like in general i feel like they're just like very detached from their feelings Hella you know what i mean so it's just like an adjective like loyal is not an adjective that is like a value to them you know what i mean it doesn't serve their greater like purpose of like being a humanitarian it's like okay why would i stay loyal to a system that hasn't been loyal to me like philosophy yeah. wise it just doesn't work out it doesn't. for them and i rules. feel like yeah you know and they're too busy thinking about their personal problems or the world's problems to come to your birthday party mm -hmm. you know they me we like we are very <laughs> we are very emotionally like detached mm -hmm. i think from situations and i think we process our feelings differently than other people so yeah. it makes it awkward and like weird for people or it makes other people not feel as comfortable to express themselves to us as yeah. well you know yeah because Aquarius are generally very cold yes and cold hearted so it doesn't it's not that you don't want your Aquarius friend to be loyal to you it's just that you just you just feel like they have other shit to worry about literally you're like dude like they're doing this they're going to that protest or they're gonna go they have something know. bigger to worry about yeah. you know and that's exactly how they make you feel and that's usually how Aquarius is at you know what yeah. I mean? They're like, I'm picking myself. This is going to work better for me. Yeah. And that's how I'm going to operate. For sure. <laughs> With Aquarius, like you said, it's like, for some reason, when they're doing their thing, you just know what their thing is. Whereas with Gemini and Libra, they're working the room, they're friends with everyone. Mm -hmm. So you're like, oh my God, they're so kind. Like, I can't wait for them to be that kind of friend to me. But Aquarius, even around other people or your other friends, you're like, oh yeah, that's that cold ass Aquarius. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like that's just, I guess, not expecting them to be loyal because it just, it just seems like they don't give a fuck whenever they're having any conversation. Yeah. <laughs> they're not pretending like Libra to like you, and they're not like Gemini that it's so easily for them to be charming. Yeah. Aquarius actually can be awkward. And not in the way that you're like, oh my god, you're so weird. Like, they're just like, oh, they don't care, so I'm not gonna, like, talk to them about They're this not, thing. they won't, like, continue a conversation and, like, they're not like, like a Libra and a Gemini would, you know what I mean? Like, they will keep probing you and asking you questions and like tell me more and like an Aquarius is like okay I don't really care I don't care <laughs> and I feel like they see how much work it is mm -hmm. and how much time it takes mm -hmm. to put in to somebody's mm -hmm. feelings and having that emotional connection with someone 
So they think that they're doing you a favor by not even engaging. You know what I they mean? Do. And I do think that Aquariuses have are are very loyal friends and lovers to very, very slim people. Yeah. I think they can get fixated on certain things and so you are that person or that yeah. thing. Like they're all about you. Yeah. Okay, so the next sign that I really started to focus on was Libra. And I feel like we can all agree that Libra loves love. They're the romantic of the Zodiac, you know, just like Pisces is Libra and Pisces That's... are there together, but Libra is ruled by Venus. So it's like, they can't help but love anyone that loves them. And I feel like that's where your definition of loyalty can get a little confusing to you, Libra. You just feel like, oh, loyalty is something that I'm just meant to have. Like it's one of those qualities that like people would want in a partner. And I feel, yeah. like, I feel like Libras and your replacements, like you guys get a little weird in that sense where like you'll literally sit there and be like, okay, to be the perfect partner, to I need be to a possess great these partners, to be a sister, I need to be these things, to be a great friend, yeah, I need to be Facts. these things. And it's like, do you really want to be these things? Is this what you really want to do? Like, right. don't be so focused on what the definition of a good girlfriend, partner, sister, daughter is. Like, do whatever the hell you want to do. And I know it's hard for y'all. And I feel like, Wait, this is so funny. <laughs> I, <laughs> you want to say something? I did only because I feel like as a Libra, they look up the definition of loyal. They're like, okay, how can I be loyal? No, for sure. I would just like to say I literally did this today. <laughs> I was I'm like, dead. what does it mean to be loyal? <laughs> I'm Sagittarius Libra Moon. I would like to say, I mean, I'm not gonna. Obviously, like, not all the credit is mine, but I do want to say at a certain point, I was like. Do you have a loyal bone in your body? Because no, if you do, nice. I'm gonna need you to use it on me. <laughs> I actually, like I didn't right, say it right, exactly right. like that, but that's There's how... like a fair standoff in our No, friendship. for sure, because I'm a Scorpio Steli. My Gemini moon helps us, <laughs> but like, I do remember having to tell her like, I don't know if you are able to do this, but like, this is what I need from you if we're able to be really good friends. She's like, you can't. You just can't just do whatever you want and cancel. just expect me to be okay with it and cancel on me and not make me a priority and just right. kind of make me feel like whatever. Not on purpose, like Libra and Sag placements like make you feel like you're not a priority. It's just mm -hmm. that they just want to do whatever and they don't want to feel loyal to you. But it's like, if you are the kind of person that requires that of your friend or partner, all you have to do is ask and be like, do you think you can do this? If you can't, maybe we shouldn't pursue a friendship yeah. or a relationship. It's just but ask, ask because like if because Maya love me enough, I to do love it. her so much. <laughs> but if she would have just dropped me before like even asking, no, you probably would have been confused. I been like, what the? Because you probably wouldn't even know what you did. And I would have been so sad. Yeah. And honestly, we probably still would have been friends because I would have been fighting for you forever. <laughs> but like, <laughs> you should let people know. Like, you let your air sign friends know that like, hey, this is hurting my feelings. And yeah. then. If they're really fun with you, they're gonna They'll show up. That. You and know, I mean, they're gonna be all of a sudden loyal to everyone in their life. But yeah. if your particular relationship is something that is important to them, they'll change the way they move with you. Mm -hmm. But back to Libra, I feel like, <laughs> let's be honest, Libra doesn't know any boundaries, um, so the idea of this loyalty doesn't really fade them. <laughs> Because at the end of the day, Libra, you're not even loyal to yourself. Ouch, I know that really hurts. But you're not. But learn something from Aries, <laughs> that's your sister sign. If you're new to astrology, whatever sign you are, find out what your sister or your opposing sign is. You have a lot to learn from it's them. It's six months from your yeah, month. Exactly, like Libra, Aries, Scorpio, Taurus, Gemini, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Libra, Aries, mm -hmm. Virgo, Pisces, mm -hmm. Cancer, Capricorn. I think I just did all of them. Yeah, you did. Um, <laughs> so find out what it is. And like, for example, for Aries, Aries is really good at setting boundaries. Aries is really good at telling people, this is when I pick myself. But Libra, it's hard for you guys to do that. You're so you, 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 you. So for at the end of the day, you just don't feel like you need to be loyal to everyone because mm -hmm. you feel like because of how much attention you give people that that's loyalty. But ultimately it's not loyalty. Other people don't see that as loyalty. No, <laughs> at, at all. all. It's just not because enough. you give attention to someone, it's like, we see that you're giving attention to multiple other people as well. So what makes you think that you're just giving that to me or that's special for me? 100%. And I feel like, in these relationships, for me, Libras are especially frustrating because in friendships, I'm like, I'm always sticking up for you. I'm always putting my neck out there. And when it comes hard times with a Libra, they're like being devil's advocate with my stranger. I'm like, what the fuck? Pick my side. I'm always.
always sticking up for you, always coming out for you, and you're like, oh, well, I don't know. I'm like, I bitch, we've been friends for 10 come. years. We've been friends for 10 years. Pick me. Loyalty. This is exactly what we're talking about. Loyalty, it loyalty, loyalty. I, I genuinely... It's not hard. And that's my thing is that, like, I, that's why I feel like I really go hard in this subject, not just because I'm a Scorpio and you know we loyal or whatever. Probably but one of the, the most loyal, loyal sign. sign. <laughs> but I feel like it's like it comes back to how loyal you are to yourself. Mm -hmm. And like honestly, I just want to say, air signs, you guys have a hard time being loyal to yourselves because to you guys, it's so easy to get caught up in the humanitarian aspect of being a mm -hmm. human or like you know a person on this earth or other relationships or socializing. When I leave Aquarius, I just touched on all three all of those of things. Yeah. So. It's important to realize what kind of loyalty you have to yourself and that's why it becomes easier to be loyal to other people. Mm -hmm. And I do ultimately want to say I feel like Libra loves to be liked. This is not news. I feel like their entire identity revolves around other people's perception of mm -hmm. them, which is why they aren't the the you know the least loyal. They want to be that perfect girlfriend or the perfect friend or the yeah. perfect sister they're daughter. They're going to try. Exactly. <laughs> so I feel like it's like they're going to try their hardest to be loyal, but Libra at the end of the day, try harder because you're not really doing it. Yeah. I <laughs> agreed. I feel like they know when to make a decision and like when to stick to it, mm -hmm. like eventually. Mm -hmm. And they will ultimately show up for their friends and lovers, but like, because they think it's the right thing to do, but like, it's not always for the right reasons in their heart. You know what I mean? You're not always doing it for the right reasons, Libra. And that's why, again, there's layers to it of why people think you're being disloyal. Because you're showing up for like, for the show, or like, oh, I need to do this to keep this friend, or to be the perfect girlfriend, or do this. And it's like, people see through that. They don't realize how easy it is to see through it. Libra, <sighs> you guys look great. So and honestly, the way you stand up for people is amazing. You guys, you know, you guys are really great lawyers if you didn't know that, but as a friend and as a family member or whomever is close to you, it's really easy for us to look at you and be like, you know, why don't you ever stand up for me? Like, mm -hmm. why is it so easy for you to just be in the sidelines while I'm getting caught up in something when you're literally right next to me? It just feels like you don't have my yeah. back and it hurts. Or like you stand up for me in the weirdest times. Yeah. Like, of like, or when I, it's convenient. I feel like there's like a stake in it for you of when you're showing up for me. For sure. You know? For sure. It's mm. frustrating. It Libra. is. It is. I feel like Libras to me at the end of the day, they want to be loved, they want to be in relationships, they're predisposed to try and make relationships work. Yeah. So to me, I that's why I don't think that they're, mo they're the most disloyal sign, I think they're pretty disloyal. But they're actively trying because they care to make it better. They're like, right. oh, you think I'm disloyal? I'm gonna be better for you. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> yeah. I give them that credit. Yeah, yeah, they try. Yeah, you know. Okay, so now let's talk about Aquarius. Applause. I feel like Aquarius does think of loyalty as like attachment. And I feel like honestly, detachment is the name of the game when it comes to Aquarius because that's how y'all protect yourselves. You know, you hate mm -hmm. being fucked with. You hate when people think that you're weak. Like Aquarius has that God complex where Definitely. they don't necessarily want to feel like someone has this power over them. And I feel like when you're loyal to someone, that's what makes you care about them. Yeah. And that, that means that, you know, they have the power to ultimately power hurt you, you. Yeah. or to kind of do things a different way than you initially thought. Like, cause Aquarius, really is so aloof so they like knowing that their friends or their partners they, they like knowing how they're gonna act and when it changes they're like oh like that's weird because they are fixed and I feel mm -hmm. like which is why like Aquarius can be this loyal at times I feel like it's to prove to you that they don't owe you shit like it's very calculated it's not like Gemini where it's easy going or Libra where it's like well, I just I love everyone you know it's like I am making yeah, the decision to show you how much I don't care Mm -hmm. Like, I don't care. In case you didn't know, I don't care. Like, okay, Aquarius, fucking relax. Right. I get it. You don't fucking care. But mm -hmm. I feel like... But, right. Yeah. And I feel like Aquarius being a fixed sign has a like, lot... We know you can't. We know you can't. We know you can't. Sorry, I just had to say it. No, I mean, I, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> and I feel like Aquarius being a fixed sign is what makes them the most loyal, ultimately, to yeah. me, out of the three. Because they do get... You guys do get fixated on friendships mm -hmm. and relationships and, like, the couple of people that Aquarius has chosen to be loyal to, the ones that they really fuck with, they're their ride or dies, yes. you know. 
11th house themes when it comes to Aquarius, you know, friendship circles, it's so important to you. And I feel like the kind of people that you're willing to get in trouble for Aquarius, those are the people that you are loyal to and you're mm -hmm. very loyal to them. You can lie and say you're not, but I know you are. And it's that Uranus effect on you, you know, mm -hmm. Uranus being one of your ruling planets, like it's one of the planets that has to do with like rebellion. And if you're choosing to be rebellious with certain people, that's the same people that you're loyal to, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? That feels very personal for you. So those fixed sign themes is really what helps me pick you as the most loyal mm -hmm. air sign. Agreed. Um, so you're definitely not in the running, in the running for In the running loyal. for it at all. Yeah. I, I mean, not at all. Cause like, you know, again, you you're, you're emotionally detached. Like I was saying earlier, yeah. so it makes it hard for people to come up to you and even want to be loyal to you. Right. I think really. Cause they don't think you have time for them. Exactly. They're, so cool. They're like, Oh, I, they don't even care about how I'm feeling. Yeah. You know what I mean? And also I think a lot of the times Aquarius is they're like, I don't really have time for your feelings. At I have all. so many of my feelings. There's so much going on in the world. I have a lot to deal with. You yeah. are the humanitarians, you're leaders. Like, I get it, but I yeah. also think that when you are really checked into something, you are like all about it and you're fixated on it, like Sarah's right. saying, and that is it for you. But when you're checked out, and if that's not your partner, you can be really aloof and it comes off as disloyal and you're not picking them. You know yeah. what I mean? So I definitely see it from both sides, but if, from, if you're dating someone and they decide that like I'm fixating on you, it's a wrap, like yeah. for an Aquarius. Like they're, sure. they're, they can be very loyal lovers and friends mm -hmm. because of that fixation, like right. nature. They get, uh, Aquarius, if you didn't know, you guys can become obsessed, okay? <laughs> like, I just wanna tell you, you little, I know everyone so tells you that you guys are so chill and aloof and you can be, but I feel like you guys aren't chill and aloof because it's just natural. Like, I feel like you guys have decided to protect myself, I will be chill and aloof. Mm -hmm. But you know you get obsessed with people, you know you get obsessed with certain And your patterns ideas. and your certain things that you have to do it this way. Your or ideas, because you're an air sign. every single day. Like, you're an intellectual, <laughs> like air is all about about your thoughts, you yeah. know, how you communicate, all these different things that require you to use your mind. So to be a fixed air sign, your ideas are very much the same. You're fixated on that. Mm -hmm. And which means your ideas about certain people, if you've chosen to really fuck with a certain person, it will be very difficult for someone to change your perception of that person because mm -hmm. you have decided that you fuck with them. Mm -hmm. To me, I feel like in the end, Libras value relationships and they want to be loved mm -hmm. by their peers, so they are going to try to be loyal to their friends loyal. and lovers, you know what I mean? And loyal. as for Aquarians, they don't really value those types of relationships as much. So it's not like what drives you. Like you like I said, you guys are the big thinkers, you're the humanitarians, so that's not what you're worried about, but if you are able to fixate on something, it's like, oh, I am only worried about that. So yeah. you're going to be loyal to that person, to that thing or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. So you can be loyal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ultimately, I hate to say it. That's your question. <laughs> Ultimately, I hate to say it. Besties, don't hate me. I think Geminis are the least loyal. I'm not offended. Air signs. <laughs> so you let these Geminis know. You I don't know. have a, I don't have a Gemini moon. I don't know who you're talking She's about. Fine. It comes out strong. <laughs> but you know, I'm telling you. No, I mean, I mean, it my square. My square. Honestly, my square. <laughs> the drinks are kicking in. Y'all have champagne with okay. a shot. We just of have whatever. <laughs> We watched Insecure, we love Insecure. If you didn't know, our first video ever on this channel Talked was about, about Insecure, it. but we watched a new episodes where Issa was talking about how sh her favorite drink is champagne, champagne with, with like a, a shot, shot of vodka or whatever yeah. it, it was be. like whiskey or yeah. something before, but like champagne with a shot of something, it's great, you guys. It, it does things it's to me. It's a party. It might even make me <laughs> loyal. Ah! loyal air sign. I feel like I think that you know we're having this special moment and you're only doing crazy things with me and then 
actually open my eyes and I look and I'm like, you're doing that for everybody. <laughs> and you are just the people's people, you know what I mean? You don't really have loyalty always to like one particular group. You know, you're ready to go on to the next party, do the best new thing and Perhaps. you know, you know, that's you. And we love you for it. I guess what I really love Gemini's. So Gemini's, you guys are great. And I really love I don't know you guys. why you're feeling you guys. I feel need to overexplain ourselves. I That's do. who we picked, and it's fine. My it's right? fine. It's okay. It, you're right. It's good. It's good. That's your Libra moon coming out. You don't it need is. to please everyone. You don't need to please everyone. You're fine, dude. Thank you. My Gemini yeah. moon is like offend everyone. Offend everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, does everybody like me? Who now? gives a fuck? <laughs> anyway. Are you okay. So ultimately. <laughs> I also picked Gemini. If you didn't know, I have a Gemini moon, so I really could give two less fucks if you are offended. Like, honestly, when people get offended, it turns me on because then I don't know something right. She's like, I'm gonna go harder. Exactly. <laughs> but I picked Gemini because I feel like Gemini doesn't really care if people are loyal to them. I feel like you guys always have someone to like fall back on, so mm -hmm. it doesn't really matter if someone is mad at you because you're disloyal. You have so many other friends, so who really cares? <laughs> and I feel like loyalty you does don't. sound fun. <laughs> until you have to show up to something that you said you would show up to until you have to pick a friend's side even though you really want to play devil's advocate because playing devil's advocate Gemini it really does turn you on okay even when you feel like that little voice in your head is telling you you should be loyal to your friend and pick their side even though everyone's coming down for them you just can't help but be like oh um, like what would happen if, um, this, if we said this? Yeah, it's just like what yeah. would happen? I what feel like you happen? guys sometimes really do say things just to get a reaction out of people and yeah. don't even lie, you do. It's fun. It's fun for you to pick on people. At the end of the day, I feel like Gemini doesn't give a fuck about loyalty because loyalty is playing by the rules and Gemini hates rules. They don't do so that. That's it. <laughs> Alright you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us while we discuss who the least loyal air sign is. Mm -hmm. If you disagreed with any of our points, please comment down below. We Let love a good know. debate. You know? And if you agree with any of our points, we even love it when we're right. So yeah. <laughs> comment down below either one of those things. And if you have any ideas of what kind of standoff, zodiac standoff, or even girl chat you want us to do, comment down below. We would love to do it. We love ideas. Mm -hmm. And we post every Monday and Thursdays. We're going to mm -hmm. post our socials up here. Give your girls a follow. We have a Twitter, we have an Instagram, yeah. and we know things have been really, really crazy in the world right now. You know, what it has to do with the pandemic and also everything that's been going on with the Black Lives Movement. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so just take the time to love on yourself mm -hmm. and take the time to kind of stay out of social media. And we hope that our channel is a place where you can decompress. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. So we'll see you guys next week. Yes. Bye. bye.